In today's video, I'll be painting my buddy's Cavalier using $25 worth of rust Smoke Gray. Let's get started with this paint job. What's going on everybody? So I'm going to be painting this Cavalier here. We already have it prepped and sanded. Uh, he used 220 grit and he's not worried about um, if there's a little dis uh, difference between this and this side because there's going to be just a little lip there because he was just done. He's ready for it to just be painted. So I'm just going to be painting it. So when we're finished with the paint job, if you see uh, a little transition, that's from that. Uh, you have to make sure to make it smooth because if you feel it, you'll see it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down again, but we've already wiped it down once. Uh, right before we paint, I'll go ahead and wipe it down using Windex Original Formula. And we're going to paint this using Rust-Oleum's Advanced Formula like I did on the Lime Green G35. Right here, 30% greater color retention and 30% more corrosion resistant. It lasts a very long time. It's kind of dark, so you probably won't be able to see everything, um, but we're gonna put something over the wheels so that we don't get overspray on them. But it should come out pretty good. Uh, sorry about not having the right lighting. We don't have a shop or a garage to paint this in right now, so we're just doing it outside. Uh, but it should you should be able to see most of what I'm doing, except for when we get back here, it's really dark. Um, but it should look pretty good. It's gonna go smoke gray. He wanted to do the color that I have on the uh, Civic currently, but they didn't have all the cans of that and it just would have been a lot more money in the long run for him to do it that way. So we're just getting it painted at this point. Also, we got the engine for Casey Civic here uh, from a salvage yard, thanks to all of you guys' donations. So greatly appreciate it. He can get back to work now. Uh, he's just doing something with the exhaust because it was leaking. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down one more time. Then we're gonna start painting it with the Rust-Oleum formula, advanced formula. And uh, you'll see kind of how I do it. I'll speed it up a little bit, um, put some music to it, make it more enjoyable to watch. But same basic principle, don't paint in direct sunlight or high wind. Um, wet the ground before you paint, it helps a lot. And don't paint when it's super, super cold out. It's like, I don't know, 50 or 60 degrees right now. I don't know the exact temperature. It could be 70. It's it's really not that cold, um, but it's cool enough to where the paint won't dry and leave lines. That's how you get lines, by the way, when the paint's too hot. I'll stop talking, get straight to the work. So uh, yeah, sit tight. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the roof and work my way towards the fender, then to the hood, uh, so we can get the larger areas covered first. All right, so that took one can to do everything you've seen so far. We're gonna move on to the next one quickly so that doesn't dry up.
All right, it's hard to see, but uh, we're on three cans so far. We've got all the way back to the quarter, quarter panel done and trunk. Got the door, the fender, the hood, and the roof all off three cans. This stuff goes a long ways. Now back here, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I can see fine, but the, the camera can't. So I'll just set you over here for when I get to that point. All right, so this is the fourth can. I'm on to my fifth, and all we have left is the door and fender right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cans, and we'll go ahead and paint that. All right, so here it is. I know you can't really see it all that well, but uh, it turned out pretty good. You can see some sand scratches from the 220. That's why I always choose to go with the 320. I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, but yeah, you'll definitely want to make sure to use the 320 to 400. That's the sweet spot for me because it hides sand scratches pretty well. But overall, it looks really good. It's just really hard to see this back end because it's so dark back here. But maybe once all the tape and stuff's off, we can back it in. Maybe I can show you that way or go to a gas station or something. <laughs> but, yep, there it is. This is Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray. This is the color I originally wanted to do on my Civic. Love but uh, but he, he likes that color, like, way more. Yeah, I love that color. Um, I but this is what I was hoping for the Civic. But overall, it didn't turn out too bad. But I'm going to show you up close. You can kind of see... There's some sand scratches. If you use 320 to 400 around there, you won't see those sand scratches when you paint. Um, this does have a lot of dents here. That's not stripes that you're seeing. That's actual dents. Just wanted to point that out because most people would probably point it out in the comments. But overall, it turned out pretty good. And how many cans did we use? Five? Did we use five cans? Yeah. Five cans on the whole thing. Um, obviously, if you wanted to do door jams and stuff like that, I think seven would be more than enough to do um, the entire Cavalier plus door jams, trunk jams, and hood jam um, area. But yeah, overall it turned out pretty good for only five cans. Um, I laid it on kind of thicker, as you've seen. That's how I like to spray it, is thicker like that. Now the wind did start picking up, so it obviously uh, could have turned out a lot cleaner than what it did but I think it turned out okay. And like I said, the sand scratches you're gonna see in the paint. But uh, yeah, so if you guys wanna do this, just make sure the conditions are good. That's why I prefer to do it in a shop or a garage. Something with well lighting um, in the middle of the day might be too bad to do if you're in the direct sunlight, cause then it can dry too fast. You just wanna kinda blend to each panel, uh, making it as wet as possible so that it comes out super glossy and even. Cause you don't wanna see the, uh, the stripe from where you were going and follow through from the beginning to the end don't stop mid panel like I do I've been doing it that way so long that I've I've made a technique out of it but uh, just go straight all the way to the end don't get too close stay a pretty good distance back but don't stay too far back 
like I said, you're going to have to play with this um, when you're practicing. It's not going to be just, oh, I can do it just like him. It might take practice, guys. Just be aware of that. Um, this paint here can last a long, long time. He's not too worried about how long it'll last, but at least a year or two. He said he might not even have the car by then, um, but we could always touch it up later and do imperfection tweaks. You know, all the little things can be fixed. We're going to go ahead and take all the tape and paper off. Then we're going to go to a gas station that's well lit, probably like stripes or something, and uh, see what it looks like in the light. So give us just a minute. All right, so we're here at stripes. We've got plenty of lighting here. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's really windy today, tonight. So here's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can definitely see the sand scratches. This is why I use 320 and 400 um, when painting the spray can. Uh, he used 220, but overall it turned out pretty good. I'm trying to block the wind here. Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, it came out pretty good. And of course you can see what I was talking about where the clear coat was messed up uh, and it wasn't knocked all the way down. You can see that. But we can touch that up. It's not very hard. Do it panel by panel. That's probably what we'll end up doing. But I owed him a favor, so painted his car for him. $25 worth of spray paint. Um, five cans, $5 each. So pretty cheap, pretty cheap paint job and it'll look good for a long time. The advanced formula is really, really good stuff. So I figured I'd just get you guys this video so you guys can see um, another spray can paint job because I know you guys like them. And if you're new to the channel, definitely check out my other spray can paint jobs. And I have the proper environment to come out a lot better. But for what we had, it came out pretty good. Um, and I painted this one with tractor paint and it, it's getting repainted here soon. He doesn't want me to. He says, no, don't paint it again. But uh, I'm going to repaint this different color, but it's going to be for uh, autism awareness. So it'll be a little bit brighter, <laughs> just a little bit, just a lot of bit. <laughs> He's like, no, just a lot of bit. But yeah, it'll look pretty good when I'm done. I'll also have video of that coming out soon because I got the paint today. So definitely stay tuned. Um, but yeah, there it is. Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray, $25 worth of spray paint. I think he spent, you know, 10 bucks on tape, but the paint itself is $25. So there it is so if you guys like the video definitely hit the like button subscribe to the channel drop a comment below it helps a lot and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video Till then god bless stay safe